All right, so today I'm gonna see if I can build a cabinet right here with this space right here. And uh, I wanna make it kind of up high. I don't wanna make it start down low because I don't want it to take up space down there. So I wanna see if I could use this cup holder as um, part of my support. Um, the bolts here and the bolt inside there. All right, so I popped open this cap and then as expected, it revealed a, a nice bolt. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this bolt and I'm gonna use this bolt to latch on, a, uh, screw on a piece of wood right here, right here as support. And then I'm just gonna let this, this uh, buckle thing dangle down and hide it under in between there. And what I wanted to do is to do the same thing with this uh, grab handle, but so after I, I took off the cover, it revealed that this grab handle is only held by this little, uh, I don't know, pin type thing. It's not, it's a little disappointing. It's not uh, held by something more strong and, and preferably a, a bolt that I could use. Um, so I'm gonna have to think about another way to make it stable on this side the cabinet just so you can see how it fits in so uh, there's this cap and it's on both sides and underneath the cap there's this slide pin and the cap kind of holds it in so it's firm so it doesn't slide out and i'll show you how this one goes in all right so i pushed it in and that's the way the grab handles work so, um, no bolts that I could use, but what I think I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to screw something onto this latch, this grab handle right here, uh, some kind of uh, a U-ring or something like that. And that'll give me support on the high end. Okay, so for the cup holder, what I did was I have this piece of, I think it's three quarter inch wood. And I wanted to wedge it in between this two uh, this slot between the two cup holders and I cut it to size and it actually holds pretty well so that's going to be one of my supports and now I'm going to build a shelf right right over there all right so this is how I wanted to make the bottom foundation with this and this right here would go up against the window and I didn't want to cover this because you know that's a storage spot in itself so I want to use that so now I'm gonna build the frame around it and try to use this to mount somehow. And I already took out the, the seat belt, so I have a bolt to put here. So when I put a piece of wood there, I can bolt it on this side. And that should be plenty strong just because I'm not gonna have anything really heavy up there. All right, so this side I had to make a little bit of an angle. I put some brads in here for that angle. Now I need to do something similar to this side, which is actually a little bit harder. It's curved and not as straight. All right, not super pretty, but it uh, should be covered up with the front side. So I drilled this hole and that should get me to the seatbelt buckle bolt. And that's what I'm gonna uh, tighten it up with. That's the way it looks. So I put in the bolt. I made the hole a little bit too big, but that's okay. So now I have a fairly stable frame. And I'm gonna put down the front side and then some top and then try to mount the top to this grab handle somehow. All right, now I have the outside covering to it. Take a look inside. That side and that side. So now, I need to put a top piece and then try to find a way to use this to add extra support. Right, so for the top part, I decided to go with this ring hook and then it'll just be bolted down down there. So I'm going to take everything out, paint it, and then I'm going to put it back in. All right, so I got everything in and that's what it looks like. Let's back out a little bit. And the nice thing is that I didn't have to put in this board right here that I originally designed it to um, because once I screwed everything in tight, it, everything was really firm. So I have that bolt here and I have this 
right here to hold everything down. There's the inside. I'll show you the bolt. That's the seat belt bolt. And you know, there's this is not a real heavy cabinet. So once I tightened everything up, you know, it, it didn't move. So I, I didn't need that bottom piece. So which is really nice because it makes things a little bit more open and a little bit less bulky. Uh, you know, it would have went something like that, which still wasn't bad either, but this is even better. Now I could have those cup holders and this guy is still a storage container. So I got my side cabinets.